Hello, Deep Staters. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidences? I ask because many people are wondering why the United States is experiencing greater repercussions from the COVID-19 pandemic than any other country. Did we respond too late? Are we more transparent with our numbers? Or is it the curse of trying to divide the land of Israel into two states for the Israelis and the Palestinians? I've been following the writings of Michael Snyder of the end of the American Dream.com and William Koenig, a White House correspondent and president of Koenig's International News. Both have compiled a stunning timeline of the repercussions that the United States has experienced after trying to divide Israel as part of a Mideast peace agreement. First, a little backstory. In the book of Genesis, God gave the land of Israel to his people and clearly vowed to bless those who bless them and curse those who curse them. Then, in the book of Joel, chapter 4, verse 2, God says he will pass judgment on those who divide that land. Has God kept his word? Watch this. On March 26, 1979, the Egypt-Israel Peace Treaty was signed in Washington, D.C., in which Israel gave up a lot of territory. Two days later, on March 28th, the Three Mile Island accident occurred, which was the worst nuclear power plant disaster in U.S. history. On October 30th, 1991, President George H. Bush gave the opening speech at the Madrid Peace Conference, which brought Israelis and Palestinians together to negotiate for the very first time. In that speech, Bush told Israel that, quote, territorial compromise is essential for peace, end quote. At that exact same time, the perfect storm was brewing in the North Atlantic. This storm sent 35-foot waves slamming directly into President Bush's home in Kennebunkport, Maine. On January 16, 1994, President Bill Clinton met with President Assad of Syria to discuss the possibility of Israel giving up the Golan Heights. Within 24 hours, the devastating Northridge earthquake hit Southern California. It was the second worst natural disaster up to that time in U.S. history. In 2005, President George W. Bush convinced Israel that it was necessary to remove all of the Jewish settlers out of Gaza and turn it over entirely to the Palestinians. The last settlers were evacuated on August 23, 2005. What happened on that day? A massive storm that had formed over the Bahamas was given a name, Katrina. It destroyed the city of New Orleans and was ranked as the costliest natural disaster in all of U.S. history up to that time. So how does this pertain to COVID-19? On January 21, 2020, the Jerusalem Post reported that U.S. President Donald Trump's peace team was holding a series of meetings with Middle East officials in order to discuss the rollout of his upcoming Middle East peace plan. Under the plan, three things would occur. The U.S. would formally recognize a Palestinian state. The Palestinians would be allowed to set up a capital in East Jerusalem. And the amount of territory under Palestinian control would double. On that exact day, the first case of COVID-19 was confirmed in the United States. To date, the pandemic has ravaged the U.S. economy, generated historically high unemployment, killed more than 31,000 people, and has become the second leading cause of death in the country. In episode one of the Deep State web series, Alex Turner explains why biblical prophecies come to pass. If it doesn't come true, if it isn't fulfilled, if just one prophecy doesn't come to pass, then God's word is a lie. So now I ask you the question again. Do you believe in coincidences? Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this vlog, please hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Deep State Web Series, to watch more insightful vlogs, our first four episodes, and our forthcoming fifth episode. They call us the Deep State, but we're the good guys.